Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing chorizo con papas with beans and it's going to be like the easiest way or the only way that I've been doing it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to let you guys know right now that I could hear the neighbors. So if you guys hear some freaking noise, it's because I could hear the neighbors upstairs. That's what happens when someone lives on top of, on, on the top. So it's cool. But um, okay, so basically you're gonna need, depending on how many people, but I use four because we love papas con chorizo, so we'd be eating like crazy. So papas, um, I got four, one can of beans, any refried beans or whole beans, whatever kind of beans you like. I like refried beans, we like refried beans. And this one, um, I got it at Whole Foods and it's not better than the one that we got at like walmart like i'll put a little picture right here but like the other one is way better but we don't have it right now so i'm gonna use this one and then um pepper and salt uh to for tortillas i use these flour tortillas um uncooked ones these are really good they're just like as close as you oh no uh they have some at costco that are super bomb too but these are pretty good too and then some eggs and then for chorizo we use this chorizo um, you can use any chorizo, but I use a pork chorizo. So yeah, that's basically all you need. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna just put this away. I'm just, I was just letting you guys know what you need. And I'm gonna start, um, with the papas, because that's what takes, like, the longest. So, let me put this in the fridge. I'm kind of mad because you could hear the neighbors and they never like make noise like this so I think it's like their washer and dryer but I'm not 100% sure but anyway so I'm gonna put a pan so you're gonna need a pan with oil put it to, put it to like medium heat and let it I like to put kind of a lot of oil because I like mine like super fried and crispy um so I'm gonna take off my wedding ring because I'm gonna dirty. I had to put my hair up, but this fucking clip sucks. And I only have this clip, so it's gonna be like drooped, but whatever. And I also banged on the on the on the roof like shut the f up because y'all loud. <laughs> They're gonna hate me, but I think they shut up. So, anyways, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna wash them. Okay, so I'm gonna wash them real quick, real good. Last night I went to Target to go buy um the that cazuela and what else did I get? Um, I got the cazuela, another cazuela, a cupcake thing to bake, like a bitch is trying to cook and do cooking videos. Because I'm tired of going out and getting, you know, drive through all the time or ordering food. Now that I got a car, I can go to the grocery store whenever I feel like it. It was pretty late though, it was like nine at night but thankfully target doesn't close till like 12 midnight so i was like damn i'm gonna go right now damn they really did be quiet like they're like oh shit <laughs> that's what sucks about uh having neighbors on top because you know you could hear stuff and it's like Mostly, you can, you can't hear stuff. You can hear like steps or like drilling and shit like that, which is so annoying to me, especially when I'm trying to film. Okay, so now we're gonna wash them real quick before we start cutting them up. I freaking cleaned my cabinets because they were a mess. I am not an organized girl, so I'm gonna start though. Okay, so the, the, the papas, let me make sure you guys can see. I'm sure you guys know how to cut papas, but I like to cut them like not too thin, not too thick. And all the same. 
because they so they can cook the same, you know. You don't want one one papa more cooked than the other, or to get cooked quicker than the other. That'll suck. I also love papas fritas, like like just long like that. That shit is so good. <laughs> you guys, I didn't. <laughs> this shit is so funny. Like, what the hell? So yesterday, like around one, like around the time I posted the video, the last like cook with me video or whatever. Um, I was like, damn girl, like you're eating a lot. <laughs> and I was having like cravings and shit, so I'm like, oh my god. Am I fucking pregnant? Fuck, bitch. Mm. Damn, girl, you thick. It has like some black or brown, so I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut that out. It's cool when it has something like that, just cut it out. Nothing crazy. You're not gonna die. Like, don't throw away the whole fucking papa. <laughs> It's all good. Okay, so I was like, damn girl, like, estás embarazada o qué? You know? So I was like, oh my god, what do I do? So I freaking went to CVS. Well, first I told Isaac, I'm like, hey, I might be pregnant because, you know, like, I missed my period day. Usually I, I start my period on the 17th. And it, it was already like the 20, what, 23rd yesterday. And I was like, girl, like, you know, you might be prego. So I'm like, okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer? So le dije, and he's all like, oh, well, wait a couple days, babe, like, wait it out. Obviously, he was thinking, oh, you're not pregnant. Like, pull out game, game strong. <laughs> like, he thinks his pull out game is strong. Because if you guys didn't know, I don't like to take birth control because I don't like how I, my hormones change. Like, I am not about that life. Like, I like to be the same girl. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not trying to be all moody and shit and I'm not trying to be all depressed either so um, a bitch is not taking birth control you know like I haven't found a good birth control and I'm not trying to try him out right now so he's all like oh just wait it out so I'm like okay well I'll wait it out <laughs> psych and <laughs> I got ready like within 10 minutes I got ready and I, I went to CVS real quick and I got the one that like is really good. The one that I found out Felicity was pregnant from, like the one that says pregnant. And I came back and I freaking took the pregnancy test. And obviously I freaking said, no, then they had not that's pregnant. <laughs> oh my god, girl. Another brown thing or what? Oh no. She just thick. <laughs> so then I was like, oh okay. Was well, that's good, you know? Every time I take a pregnancy test, I always try to scare Isaac. And yesterday I was all like, oh my god, I guess we're having a little boy. <laughs> and he smiled all crazy like he wants a boy. Like, I know he does, but but not right now. <laughs> um, I can't right now, I can't. So he's all like, um, he smiled. And I was like, why are you smiling for him? He's like, oh, I'm just, you know. And I was like, no, well, I'm not. And he's all like, I told you. And I was just like, yeah. Next time I'm gonna listen to you and he gets on my Next time we'll about now, eh? But it's all good. So yeah, uh, so then that happened. And I wasted all that money for nothing because that shit is expensive. Like, what, $27 for that shit? I got like four of them. And then, especially at CVS. CVS is overpriced. And then freaking... So that happened like around what? I found out like that I was in premium like around three maybe. And then I start my freaking period. I go to the bathroom and I, I'm not talking about period while cooking. Yes, that's cool. And then, um, so I come back and I'm like, oh, well, I was taking a piss. And then finally I saw that, you know, I start my period. And then last night I was having all kinds of cramps. Like I woke up in the middle of the night with cramps. Uh, for, the, for you guys that are new to my channel or if you didn't know, I got boob augmentation like a breast augmentation and i got a lift so i've been i have to sleep for like four to six weeks i have to sleep um kind of like slanted up like kind of like that <laughs> so um you know i've been sleeping like that and i'm freaking and it's so annoying and i have pillows like i got some pillows you know so it's like it makes it a little better but still like it's annoying like i want to i want to like be like Touring and filling up with Isaac, but I can't just a little bit. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, so that sucked. And he like always wakes up and like sin que yo le diga, like he just does it. Um, he wakes up y, y me acomoda, like he puts the pillows like all night and like it's so nice. It's like, damn, he loves me. So we're gonna wash these up real quick. Okay, so while it is here, I'm gonna put pepper and salt before I put it in the pan because I'm gonna put it already. Yeah. So let's do that. So while the pop, the papas, while the papas are cooking the potatoes, um, we're gonna do the chorizo. Um, the chorizo is gonna be separate because I like to mix it after because I don't like the oils to be all like I don't like to be super oily. So we're, let's get a pan and we're gonna put the chorizo in the pan by itself because it already has enough oil. It's pretty oily. Yeah. You're gonna be chilling right here? No, I'm just getting water. Oh, uh, cause you're embarrassing. Alright, so the chorizo, just let it sit there. I don't put any seasoning on the chorizo. I feel like it's already like pretty seasoned. So now for the um, chorizo, I'm gonna whisk some eggs right here separately. Um, about, I think about four. Four is good. One huevo per potato. There you go. That sounds reasonable. of like sizzling sound of the food. Oh. Okay. So just let the eggs sit for a little bit while the chorizo cooks and I'm gonna show you a little close up of the food. So I don't move them along because I don't want them to get mushy. So if you just want to do that, like just slide it like an X. Slide it. Okay. So that's cooking really good, really even, really nummy. Looks bomb already. So that's what we're working with right now. And let that sit still. So this is gonna go to like four. I'm gonna put it on four. This is on seven. I'm gonna put it to like medium. Okay. 
Looking good. All right, so now we're just gonna wait. And the egg is ready to get poured over here with the chorizo. And let's, let's work on the beans now. Okay, so for the beans, um, really easy. We're just gonna put them in the pan. And this is, a, I don't even need a can opener with this because it already has them. So that's easy. And I don't put any season on it. On it. It already has enough seasoning. They're pretty good. So we're just gonna put them in. All right, so the beans, we're just gonna put them on slow. We're gonna slowly cook them because the food still needs a lot of time. All right, guys, so the chorizo should look something like this. Um, it is done. Well, it's not fully done, but I like to put the eggs before it's fully done, but it's basically almost done. So we could pour the eggs in now. So I like to pour, I like to make a little hole and I like to put the eggs in the middle first and just let it sit before I start swirling it around. So make a little hole, let it sit for a little bit on, on the heat and it'll start, I'll, I'll show you when you can start mixing it basically. Okay, I wanted to change the camera angle so you guys could see. So now that I let it sit, the egg for a little bit, now you could just go like this. looks so good it's good to let the egg cook a little bit so it could just get a little more puffy you know and now let's mix the papas a little bit all right so just mix the papas a little bit that's what i've been wanting to see that that crisp in the bottom So as you can see, they're looking pretty freaking crispy now. Um, let me get a close up of that. Yes, bitch. Um, that's what you want to see. This is already good. That's on low. This, I'm going to give it about two more minutes and then I'm going to take it out. So the pan should have no oil, no nothing. Um, I cleaned it with a, I cleaned it with a napkin. So you could you could put it on low now. So I'm just gonna. So we just want to make mix it now. All right, guys. So these are done. They look super freaking good. Um, I'm just waiting for the bean. Well, the beans are done. They just needed to be heated up. So I'm gonna put some cheese on top of the um, beans, and then I'm gonna start with the tortillas. The comales already heating up. But look at this, guys! Like, 
bomb, 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 bomb. Super good, not so greasy because I drained everything out. So this is a perfect way to do it. So, you know, it is a couple steps, but it's pretty bomb. It's worth it. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Like makeup and shit. Like this is the finished look. This is the finished product. Chorizo con papas and beans and cheese. So freaking good. Anyways, I like to add sour cream. At this point, you can add whatever you want, but I like to add sour cream. Um, tapatillo and I have some salsa that I got at a taco shop yesterday <laughs> and it's freaking good and I have a tortilla the tortillas right here that I'm still making looks like a nickel but um alright so I'm gonna put tapatillo on my Some sour cream. I love sour cream on everything. I'm gonna get both at the same time, the beans, the papa, the chorizo, everything mixed. Mm. I wish I had um, jalapenos, but other than that, delicious. Mm. <laughs> mm. <sighs> no. You guys, this is really delicious. There's nothing better than home cooked meal. Like, seriously. I think it needs more tapatio too. So good, delicious. All right, so we are all done. All right, so I'm gonna do the notification shout out. Um, so the first one goes to Chantel Gregory. I hope I said it right. Thank you, girl, for turning on your post notifications and being subscribed. I love you. And also, um, Amra, thank you so much for turning on your post notifications and being subscribed. We love you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the meal. If you guys do it, please send me a Snapchat. <laughs> send me a screen, you know, uh, send me a snap. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what other things you want me to cook. This is our favorite Mexican meal. I know you guys want me to see Mexican stuff so this is literally our favorite. If you guys do it a little different let me know like how you guys do it and let me know if I did it if you guys do it the same or you know I'm sure y'all do the beans a mano but I don't because I don't know how to make beans. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please make sure to like, share, subscribe and comment whatever you like. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Love you guys.